if you were standing up. I also want to thank, uh, we have a couple people who are joining us via phone uh, through Zoom, so I want to uh, welcome them as well. Um, we are doing our level best to try to make sure that we can connect with as many people as possible. Um, at the same time, we are also uh, asking grace as we try to figure out all this technology. Um, now is the time in our service where we have a special moment with our young disciples. Um, so if you have kids in, uh, or young people in your house who are watching with you or who are um, in the house or with you, uh, invite them to come uh, and listen for them. This is especially for them. Um, although it might also be a word for all of us. I know that um, I like to move. I am, I am uh, diagnosed with ADHD. It's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. And it's been that way since second grade. My mom can tell you a bunch of stories about me and conversations with teachers that she had. Um, so being in my house most of the time is difficult. I need to move. I, it helps me breathe. It helps me my mind work. And um, it, I have to do something. And sometimes um, I don't get to go take a hike or I don't get to be outside or play sports. Um, like I normally do, um, but one thing I have found that calms me down uh, and helps me to focus is coloring. Um, and a friend of mine, um, and his, he has a company called Illustrated Ministry, and they have uh, printed some amazing uh, coloring pages for us there for um, anxious times specifically. And I will, we, we are going to email these out, a copy of these out to um, all uh, our mailing list coming up soon. Um, it's a uh, PDF file and it has some prayers that are associated with each and every one of these coloring sheets. Um, we also, I will try and figure out a way so that we can have stuff for you to come pick up without the office being open and without, um, because we also, we also know that not everybody has a printer at their house, like me. I have a printer, but it's in a box, so I have to see if it works. Um, so here's what I want you to do. I, would, uh, I want you to think about two things right now, and then another thing I want you to do in the, um, in the future. So the thing I want you to think about right now is I would love for you to draw me a picture of what it means to have your eyes open. And I would love for you to draw me a picture that says um, that God is with you and what that might look like. And if you can, I would love for you to share that picture with us, either through a text message at 651-327-0779 or an email at pastorgreg at firstpresbyterianredwing.com or Pastor Heidi at firstpresbyterianredwood.com, or uh, share it with us on our Facebook page, um, or our Instagram, or any of those things. Tag us in your Instagram post um, with the hashtag God is here. And we also want to invite you to a special Wednesday noon Zoom event. This is for young people only. So if you, uh, and you can discern, determine who that young person is. If you are young in heart, that's great, but this is specifically for those people who aren't going to be in school at Wednesday afternoon at noon. Join us, and we'll have a little Zoom activity um, and time to send and to look at each other and to say hi, um, because I know that many of us uh, miss seeing each other. I know I miss seeing you, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. So for a second, I want us to pray while we live in this new reality. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity and the technology and the ability to see each other even if we cannot be with each other in presence. Help us to remember that we are loved by God, that God is here, and that God is always opening the eyes of us, of our, opening our eyes and opening the eyes of the blind to see new things. New things can be scary. New things can be uncomfortable. And we also know that God is with us to see us through, with, and for the new things. God is here for us. And let us listen and open our eyes.
In your son's name we pray. Amen. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you.